This is a quick overview of the front panel control for the Model 745. Here we have the T0 output, which is on the back side of the instrument, uh, used to trigger our scope on the external trigger input to the scope. And then we've run a cable from T1 on the digital delay generator to channel 1 on the scope, and T2 up to channel 2 on the scope. Let me go ahead and turn on the delay generator. Make sure you don't have an Ethernet cable uh, in the back for remote. Let the unit run through a self-test. And once you've finished the self-test, it will tell you it's ready. Uh, here, the menu system is, is quite simple. It's you toggle up and down through the menus. To go into a sub-menu, you hit OK. To back up out of that menu, you hit Escape. Once you're in a sub-menu and you're modifying variables, parameters, you'll use the right and left menus. Here, right now, I'm going to toggle through my top level menu, status, trigger, frequency, one and two, uh, external trigger, and then the channel uh, parameters. Let me go ahead to channel one and select OK. And here we will turn the trigger to, uh, we will select OK here to modify the trigger. And I'll go to internal one and select OK. And now we see we're triggering. You see the light is active here, and we're getting uh, active pulses. But notice on the scope, we're not uh, locked into T0. That's because we have not yet set uh, T0. So we'll go Escape to the top menu, and we will turn on T0. And T0, yes. Go from off to on. And we will, T0 will be locked into the internal trigger as well. And now you see we have our pulse on channel one. Now, if we want to turn on channel two, go back to the top menu, scroll through our channels. Again, here is uh, channel one setup. Here's channel two setup, up and down through the different channels. Once we find the channel we want to modify, we select OK. And here, we, if we want to modify the trigger, we'll have to select OK again. And we will trigger channel 2 as well off of T0, which is the internal 1 trigger. Select OK, and we have our pulses. Now, perhaps we want to vary the parameters of a pulse. I'll escape to the channel 2 parameters and uh, select OK. And rather than varying the trigger for channel 2. I'll toggle through the setup here. The delay is 0. The amplitude is 5 volts. And the width here is set default in 500 nanoseconds. If I want to change that, I have to be on that screen. I select OK. And now I use the left and right arrows. I'll go 5, 6, 7, we'll say 800 nanoseconds. And select OK. And we see here we've increased the pulse width to 800 nanoseconds. If I want to do the same thing for channel 1, I escape. I go to my channel 1 setup. It's giving me the overview of channel 1. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to go to the up and down through the parameters of channel 1. Delay, amplitude, width, select OK. Now that I've selected OK, I see the small cursor right here under the 0. I will toggle that to the left, go up to 800 nanoseconds and select OK. And now what we've done is we've widened the pulse of channel 1. For a little more detail on varying the rate, please see the next training module, which is using the front panel to vary the uh, frequency.